Hi everybody, I hope you're safe and well and healthy. I think at times like this when we're at home and feeling distant from each other, it's actually a really good time to write. So I'm joining with one of my favorite organizations, 826 National, to encourage kids to take this time to get some writing done. If you don't know, 826 National is the largest youth writing network in the country. They provide tons of creative writing centers around the country for students to share their voices and express themselves. And they work with around 80,000 students, so that's incredible. And if you have any young children at home, they're providing free creative writing resources on their website. So you can go to 826national.org if you have some students that are looking for things to do while they're at home. Today, I'm going to be giving my own a good time to write challenge, which is how to write a poem from a book scavenger hunt. Now you can do this as complex or as long as you want. I'm gonna do a very simple version, which is you grab a book from your bookshelf. I'm doing Jacqueline Woodson's Brown Girl Dreaming, a great book. And you give yourself a set of numbers and you're going to pull out words from those page numbers in the book. I'm someone that likes symmetry, so I'm just gonna do all the double numbers. I'm gonna do page 22, 33, and 44. Let's see. Scrolling through my book, going to page 22. 22 is my lucky number, by the way. Um, and I'm going to pick a word from there. Ah, I'm having difficulty getting the page open with my fingers. Got it. Awesome, 22. Um, so I like the word roaring on this page. So I'm going to write that down as my first one for my scavenger hunt. And now I'm gonna go to page 33 and pick a random word from there. I actually do this a lot in my poetry. I'm ashamed to admit, but also excited to admit it. Um, just because if I'm feeling writer's block, it's a great way to just force myself to start. Okay, so we have page 33 here. Um, I really like the word cousins. I don't know why, maybe because I love my cousins. So I'm gonna write that down. And last but not least, page 44. Now you can do this with the dictionary. You can do this with your favorite book, um, anything at all. But I really love this book, so I'm doing it. Page 44 does not have anything on it. It's a blank space. You can either use that as a kind of challenge to yourself to use blank space in your poem, which is super interesting. Um, I'm just, for the sake of this, going to do something else, which is to say, use one of the words on page 45, which is names. It's also here as well. So, so far, scavenger hunt, I have the words roaring, cousin, and names. You can use these words too and create your own poem. We're going to give ourselves a short period of time to do it. Let's see. This is going to be a very brief poem for the sake of IGTV. Okay, almost done. Make sure you finish. Any thought is fine. Ooh, I'm trying to find a word. Okay, this is what I came up with. You can keep editing and working as long as you want. I hear 
that nightly roaring. A thousand stars clustered tightly as cousins, each howling out with their own light, a nightscape brilliant and bursting with names. You can do anything you want. I hope you liked that scavenger hunt. Grab a book off your shelf, do some random numbers, get those words and see what comes out. I'd love to see your writing in the bottom if you come up with anything and make sure to go to 826national.org for more free writing resources for young kids. Mm -hmm.